28-year-old Becca Tapley is addicted to looking good, but her credit card bills are not a pretty sight. I love spending money. I love it. I love the power it gives me. I spend it like no one's business. I spend it like it's going out of fashion. There's no escape. I can't a PA at a luxury shoe company, Becca earns 28 grand a year. But in the last three years, she's racked up an unfashionable 15 grand debt. Yeah, this is a Marc Jacobs coat, my Fendi spy bag, Prada shoes, these are my jeanas. This dress cost me $900, £375, $700, I think. But I saw it and I just had to have it. I've worn it once. <laughs> of course it's worth it, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Something inside me says, yeah, go on, you deserve it. <laughs> what does it matter? Get it. Life's too short, get it. But she doesn't just treat herself. Maloko the pug and Buster the bull terrier are pretty well healed too. Her friends think it's gone too far. The t-shirts, the dogs are like 75 quid. She's just mad. I do worry about her because there is no end. She will spend and spend and spend. Help is at hand. Lifestyle expert Jay Hunt will help Becca cut down the cost without cutting out the style. You can save some money, make something for yourself and keep to the budget. Psychological coach Benjamin Fry will unearth the demons lurking in Becca's designer wardrobe. They've put out two sides of your personality that are at war with each other. Becca's spending is at crisis point. Her finances are in need of a new season makeover. I do think I am getting out of control with my spending, definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not right, is it, to keep racking up all these credit cards. But um, I can't stop. Becca Tapley works in London as a PA at a luxury shoe company. Despite a 28 grand salary, living the Vogue lifestyle is sending her deep into the red. I think working for a luxury shoe company has really kicked off my spending habit. I didn't have that many luxury items before I started working there, but um, you should never economise on luxuries. Three years ago, Becca discovered a way she could live like the fashion jet set. Just one day, they were like, hello, you can have a credit card. <laughs> yes, my life changed. Since then, her credit cards have been working overtime. And so has she. I was actually finding all my repayments were pretty much taking up all my salary, so I got a job in a pub just a couple of nights a week. You know, you've got to do what you've got to do, right? Despite her money worries, Becca's spending soared to new heights on a recent shopping trip. I went to New York and I spent five grand in two days. I can't believe it myself. There she met the love of her life, a $3,000 handbag. There it was, this gold one, and the guy said, would you like to hold it? And I said, yes, please. I didn't look at the tag, I just signed. Even best friend Claire thinks she's out of control. She's going out at lunchtime, she's applying for credit cards, she's buying online, and at the moment it's not getting any better. She does need somebody to help her out just a little bit. All the while, her ambition is going to waste. Now is quite a crucial moment to get my spending under control because I want to start my own business in fashion, but I'd love to have my own boutique. That's my dream. But can her dreams become reality? Not even she is sure. I'm still racking up my credit cards, so that's really something that's got to stop, I suppose. Maybe on a bit of a self-destruct mission, you know. What am I doing? <laughs> Becca works in London, but commutes from leafy Surrey, where she lives alone. While she's out, shopping, Benjamin and Jay have borrowed the keys to her flat. No, it's that one down that alleyway there. It's time for them to take a closer look at the clues to her spending addiction. No, stinks of dogs. Oh, good, it's like. Oh, oh look. Oh, that's better. Oh, it's not what I thought at all. It's like a real student's hangout. Look at it. It sort of stinks of dog and it's um, slightly grotty, really. I don't know what assumptions they'll make, 
about me, they've never met me, and then they'll be going through all my things. I'm quite nervous, actually, about it. It's a bit funny, really, someone going through your star. With a lounge more shabby than shabby chic, they head to the kitchen for more evidence. The cupboard is bare. So, not much of a foodie, except when it comes to the dogs. She's buying really nice, expensive, organic dog food. <laughs> Posh pet food. Absolutely. What's that? Dog clothes. Do you think she thinks she's sort of Paris Hilton, mm. dressing her dogs up? That is ludicrous. A pug puppy? Mm -hmm. You're talking about not much change from £1,000 for that. No, oh, gone. I know. I'll buy lots of presents. Clothes, toys, new leads. Do you love your mummy? <laughs> There's just one last room to check, and it looks like they've hit the jackpot. Very boudoir. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look, Just this is finally some personality. There's suddenly some feminine care, some presentation. I'm the chick with the hat, bitch, Manolo, Blotty, Jimmy Choo, kick, killing it. Who you with me? Makeup, blotty, do we with my past? 1500 quid. Shut up. It is. Who that is that that? a 1500 pound Fendi bag. Mark Jacobs bags. Those start from about 300 upwards. Gina shoes, 335 pounds. Mm. Pair of Mark Jacobs shoes. You're probably talking about 300, 400 pounds for those. Wow. It is easy to see that the money here is really going on clothes, bags, shoes, and I tell you what, quite a lot of it as well. Amongst the many treasures are hidden talents. That's quite interesting. See, that's not got a label on it, but it looks like something she's either had customised or she's customised herself. And under her bed, the proof of all that spending. Hold on. I think we've struck gold, Jay. Ah, let's have a look through these. I think we should have a quick browse. Pay slips. Oh, yeah. Not a bad salary. Top shop. Oh, she's got a store card at Top Shop. They're always expensive. Yeah. There we go. Harvey Nichols, House of Fraser, Net Porte. Yeah. Internet shopping. <gasps> look how much is being spent on all the pet stuff. But you know what's really funny is I wonder if anybody who she works with would ever imagine that she lives in such a sort of student place. It doesn't really fit in with her Vogue lifestyle. Armed with Becca's finances, Jay and Benjamin want to wake her up to what she's really been spending on and how long it's taken her to spend it. You better look good. All that money spent and all that stuff in the wardrobe. She better look damn good. I bet you were looking forward to this one. Oh, that's her, I bet. Look yeah. at those shoes. Yeah. Hi, Bella. Hi. Hi, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. This is Benjamin. Benjamin. Hi, Ben. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming out to London to see us. We've got some fun stuff to show you. Oh, okay. I hope you're going to like it. Lead the way. You won't forget it. Okay. Right. okay. This way. Our financial duo lead her to their lair, where they've set a trap. Look. Now, what this is, is the web of debt. Her challenge is to rescue the receipts caught in the web and fight her way to Benjamin and Jay's boutique on the other side. And as you struggle through it, think about how you've spun this web for yourself. This is something that you made that now you're struggling through. <laughs> OK. okay. All right, Good there's the entrance. There. Mm -hmm. The first receipt is a big bill for bags. Six grand spent in just three years. The second is for £5,878, the amount Becca spent on shoes in the same time. And the final amount comes in at a colossal £9,242, just on clothes. Oh, 
well done. Come and have a seat. Now, would you like to know what that totals? Not really, no, would you? It's too much. OK, well, have a look at this. Becca's total in just three years is more than 21 grand. No way. What do you reckon? I can't believe that. I'm... No. Are the things that you've bought in the past <clears throat> three years worth it when you look at that amount? Is, is there £21,120 no. worth of fabulous things in your no. house? <laughs> No. No. You look a little bit shocked by this. It can't possibly be that much. Mm -hmm. It can't be. OK, it is that much. I'm not going to let it get any worse than that. That's okay. shocking. But it does. Cue a second alarm call to wake her up. Can you hear that noise? Yeah. Ah! Look at the door. Ah! What are those? Noisy things. They're um, mechanical dogs. I'm going to go mad. We can't hear ourselves sing. I'm going to start turning them off. They're annoying. Speak properly. Ah! Shut up! Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, you! Peace. Oh. Can you imagine what this might be about, Becca? My dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're not cheap, are they? No. Each toy dog represents £50 Becca has spent spoiling her pricey pooches. It's actually £3,050 that you spent in the last 12 months on your dogs. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Well, we've got our work cut out because we've got, got to cut back on the dog spending and the fashion spending. But first things first, we're going to go and sit down and work out with you your cold turkey budget and no dog spending <laughs> for the next seven days. <laughs>